Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 or on our website, WSKITV.com, to find this forecast all year round. Brought to you by the Widowmaker, open today upstairs in the base lodge. And for the final day of 2020, we do expect to wake up to a couple inches of snow, hopefully. Temperatures up top, 26 to 30, but they will be falling in the afternoon. 31 to 35 at the base, a little bit of breeze noticeable, especially up at the summit. As we look forward to the first day of 2021, yoo-hoo! We do expect to start out with plenty of sunshine, but we'll see clouds on the increase, and that's good because we have snow coming in for Saturday. Summit temperatures on Friday, 18 to 23, at the base, 26 to 28, so it should be another good day for making snow on Friday. And it does look like the system coming our way might bring us a few inches of snow between Friday night and into Saturday. It'll be snowing by the time we wake up and snowing throughout most of the day, so cross fingers, we get a few inches. That'll make it absolutely marvelous. 34 at the base, 26 up high on Saturday, then back to sunshine for Sunday and Monday. 31 at the base on Sunday, 20 up high, so more good snowmaking weather. Monday, 31 at the base, 19 up high, another great day for making snow. Birchwood Interior Spring Shore Trail Conditions for Thursday, the 31st of December. Our trail count is at 32 trails and trail sections. We've got loose and frozen granular, but if we get a little bit of snow overnight and they can groom that in and you can ski it in, you will be amazed how much better the surface will be. So look forward to that in the morning. They expect to groom Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote, Kings, Spurline, Hayburner, Upper Gauge, Comp Hill, Skidder, Sluice, Windrow, Scoot, and West Mountain. Candyside, Haywire, Laurel Winters, Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook. They're wrapping up snowmaking because we have a temperature inversion settling in on us tonight. They have been making it on Comp, Stomping Grounds, and they've moved over to Whiffletree. It'll take them a little while to get Whiffletree done, but let's hope they can get some cooperation from the temperatures. Snubber starts up at 8 o'clock. 8.30 start for Skidway and Sawduster, serving the beginner terrain at the base of the mountain. 8 o'clock also start up time this week for West Mountain Chairlift. 8.30 for Skyline, Super Quad, and both sides of Double runner chair serving the center part of the mountain and hopefully a pie will be able to run timberline at nine o'clock as scheduled even though it's supposed to be a bit breezy it should be in the direction that it doesn't necessarily affect that chair so check on that in the morning when we have our live show we'll let you know in real time what's happening agc open every single day all day all this week and same is true for the Sports and Fitness Center. They're open to 9 every night, but please call both places for reservations first. And something else to do is the Sugar Bowl. They have entertainment with all kinds of big screen TVs. They've got bowling lanes, and they also serve dinner at the Sugar Bowl all this week. And the Bag and Kettle, a true Sugar Loaf institution, whether you dine in or to go, be sure to check them out in Village Center. Shipyard has New Year's Eve activities. Give them a call. They're taking reservations. White Wolf Inn, do not miss out on some of the best cooking anywhere. That's right in downtown Stratton, well worth the trip, just 10 minutes north of the mountain. Or if you want breakfast or lunch in Stratton, the Looney Moose, check them out. They're open Wednesday through Sunday. Wicked yummy. And now mimosas too. Here's our schedule. If you want to know what's happening all year round locally and with outside television programming, we've got entertainment and information you won't find anywhere else. Know before you go with WSKI, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We are everywhere.